Hey, it's Felrags, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a test game I made that is a split screen game on Roblox. Ooh. I thought that was an interesting idea because you see split screen games, but you don't see that on Roblox. And I feel like other devs could make this and it could make some pretty cool games. Like, you know, it was basically inspired by those split screen games, like a way out. It takes two. So, yeah, I'm basically going to show you how it works and the code behind it. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'm trying a new style of content where I make shorter videos to show uh, test games. But I also have other content, which is more highly edited devlogs and other stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Also, join the Discord server to talk to me and other people, as well as get updates. Okay, so the best way I can show this is obviously having uh, two windows open at once. But as you can see, me moving on the left screen actually replicates the movement on the right screen and uh, vice versa for the right screen you know pretty cool stuff obviously this is very work in progress it only tracks the movement so there's no animation but you can actually collide with each other and you can do parkour in the environment uh, so yeah this is a quick uh, show of it i'm gonna be showing you the code behind this so this is what it looks like under the curtain as you can see it looks a bit different compared to how it looked when i was testing it and the reason for this is because of a secret magic called viewport frames as you can see viewport frames are basically just guis but you can put actual models into it so as you can see i'm over here and in the actual game world i'm in the same spot i'm going to be telling you how i did this also as you can see this still works if you don't have a player too just so you're able to test this so as you can see in the starter player i have camera c frame and the character c frame with a c frame updater the reason I have this is because you can't really get the camera C frame from the server since it's locally on your client. I have this update script that runs locally on your side that sends data to the server to know where the camera position is on your screen and replicate it on the other person's screen. So you're both looking at the same thing as well as the character C frame because might as well do that as well. Since I'm getting the camera, I might as well get the character position from the client. So basically here, I get the camera, I get the character, and basically every frame send that data of the camera C frame and the character's uh, primary part C frame. It gets sent to an event, and then the event activates this script, which gets the values that was sent with the event, and then sets those values on the server side, so the server knows where you are and where your camera's positioned into the other person's client. Now we're going on to the GUI, which has player one and player two. So the viewport frames, I basically just replicated all the parts I put into the game world and put it into the GUI. So it's basically the same. So you can see the objects. You can't physically interact with it because there's no physics in the GUI. But, you know, I fake it as you're actually in the game world. But you can only see the GUI. But the GUI has the parts in it. But, like, there's not proper lighting in the GUI. So that's why it looks really weird. But, yeah, in the script, I set up some variables. I get the player which is just an uh, inefficient loop, which checks every frame if a player joins. The reason why I did this is because people can just join in, so it has to update. I know it's not that efficient, but it's a test game, and it's not an actual game. In an actual game, if someone leaves, the game would probably just close, so it doesn't need to have this redundant code. But since my game just basically, you just plop in, and the split screen works, it has to check every frame if a new player joins to sync up with each other. And then basically every frame, it sees if the player's still in the game. If not, if player one leaves, player two will be shifted to player one. But if player two leaves, it'll go to a black screen saying player two missing. If it's player one or player two, the server goes fetches their data, which is the character position and camera position. And then boom, it updates, it syncs up, and boom, cool split screen game. So that's basically how it works. So yeah, that's it. It's a pretty short video. But I think this is a pretty cool concept. From what I've seen, no one's really done on Roblox, and I think this is pretty cool. I know there's some limitation because, you know, viewport frames look kind of weird. But if you have, like, a unique aesthetic, I think you can mask that and make a pretty cool split-screen game on Roblox. So if there's any devs out there, you should try this because I think this is a pretty cool concept, and there could be some really fire games on Roblox that are split-screen. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this short video, be sure to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, like, comment, share. Also join the Discord server to talk to me and other people, as well as get updates. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace!